What's up WWE Champions Universe, this is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is the next installment of our series, Should You Take Blank to Six Star Gold? And I'm closing out my day, I've been doing these videos all day, with uh, Striker Bradshaw. And very specifically with Striker Bradshaw, I've been... Uh, man, hesitant. Because while I can usually make these videos pretty quick, this one has to take a little longer, and there's a lot of setup involved. Um, I've got a Sir Zorro build on this, and we may actually run that on our stream tonight. Uh, that would be May 24th if you are in the future, because this probably won't release for another week or more. Uh, but he has a lot of ways he can be run. He, he just does. So I'm going to start with triple red, all 7 MP red. You got multi gems, you're, you're making X breaks, and then you're changing a 4x5 area into black. Your entourage, you need uh, Andre or somebody else who does red. And then, of course, if they do a multi up, that'd be great, which is Andre. If not, just red and whatever damage you can get from them. Uh, one of your other red MP trainers. And then Zombie Gunther, as always, the best, most used coach in the game. And Mem Rock. If you're missing any of those, just sub them out for whatever damage you might have. On the strap, uh, standard plate that I use on all our previews, 50% gem damage, double fury 2 with a 35% all gem damage metal. And the special trick on this one is the Queen's Tiara. Whenever you make six or more multi gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. Just a note, he does have the Acolyte because we're on the, the Candy Store account. I can't take it off, but it's okay because it's feud only, so it's not impacting what we're about to see. So I'm going to try to breeze through these as quick as I can while also showing you what you need to see uh, because, my goodness, he's versatile, and uh, that's my bane. I struggle with characters that are versatile. <laughs> I like him to have one move set that really works and then just go from there. So we're going to try and mix these around in here because we are also going to be making X break gems. So those are times nine. Now we're making some X break gems and we want them to break a nice area that goes across here like that. That'll work. Normally I make a big X across the middle, but that'll give us what we want. And then if this were a trickster we were facing, it would increase our multi-gems by three. But as is, we're going to turn these black. So you want to go over all your multi-gems as much as possible, and then your X break gems to set them off. Bam, bam. I missed one multi-gem, and it was 21 million. So that move set works. But uh, yeah, I could have I could have run it a little bit better, but I don't think I could have run it getting it to 60 million better. So that's the first one. The second one is the Sir Zorro special here, and uh, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let me set it up. And we'll go from there. All right, so we need both Juggernaut gems. Do, 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 and do, do, do. And we need to make sure, let's see. Yep, increase our yellow gem damage, and then increase your black MP, and then the black finisher, the clothesline from hell, right there. And then we want Ludwig Kaiser. I wish there was a search option here. This would make life so much easier. Come on. All right. I haven't used Ludwig in a while, so let me know when you see him. The entertaining scroll on the six star gold account. Hopefully you can't hear my son in the background. He is VRing with his friends. This one's definitely going to be the longest of this series. Um, yeah. Oh, that was Bradshaw. There he is. All right, mobile gems do 100%. Yellow moves start with one. There we go. All right. Now we need Jonathan C Nation. 
who is, by the way, one of the most clutch trainers now in the game, now that he does 45%, well, he's always done 45%. Now that 45% is has scaled because of the damage increase, John Cena, the, the showboat one, is actually probably one of the best trainers, period. Uh, in fact, it might be worth power rating him just because he is a 5 out of 5 on his trainer ability now. It's crazy. There he is. Yellow moves start with 2 and 45%. Of course, there's one that does 50, but that's, you know, not as common. Yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, here's where it gets a little dicey because for Sir Zorro's build, you need your Immortal Hulk Hogan and you need Goldberg. I normally would not run that trainer set. Um, I do happen to have both of those on my personal account, but uh, just because they're they're rare. I mean, Hogan is getting less rare. I, I, just because he's been out for so long, there people are finally getting him. But but the, the, the people who have the top end things do want to see what their top end things can do. Because while Bradshaw was given out, uh, basically given out in the oopsie poopsie that happened, uh, he is technically supposed to be one of the most rare characters or more rare characters in the game. He is, you know, S tier, and that does tend to mean rarity more than anything else, although it does also. Is Goldberg in the these don't work when they really do pile? Or did I just miss him? I must have missed him. You were shouting. I know you were. You're like, hey, 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 hey. By the way, I wanted to get to Zombie Undertaker today. That did not happen. So I've got a list for next week. Where is Goldberg? Remember when Hall of Fame Sting was in the game? Oh, I miss him. I never got... Oh, there he was. I... Pff literally passed by him this is why i normally edit these uh out because on the candy store account oh i also wanted to do carrying cross dang it we're getting close to stream time i might do some of these after stream tonight i don't know i i've got a feud at some point um yeah so anyways all right and then on the title surprisingly what uh what zoro's calling for is any plate that makes yellow any plate that makes yellow if you break gems. So we're going to put the general's orders. That's how we have it. He says, this is a feud build. You can remove uh, Showboat Cena and put on Showboat Seth instead. But I'm not going to do that because that's even more rare. There are like five to six plates that do the, the yellow. And I'm going to send you gameplay, which he does. So let me explain to you fast. This is uh, This is our conversation with... Sir Zorro, right here. Uh, let me explain to you fast. There are two types of jug gems. Always put the top one as the one that increases black MP. So, black MP says, put it on top. Don't make more than two or the second effect will ruin everything. So, put those up top. Only make two. Good to go. All right. Uh, second point, place the other jug gems at the bottom and try as much as you can to get them on black gems, which didn't happen. There's no black gems down there, so that is what it is. And go ahead and place all of them. Uh, the reason you're not placing these ones twice is because otherwise you'll overwrite things because it makes 20 to a mobile and you don't want to overwrite anything. All right, now use the ultimate plate uh, where you destroy, oops, 10 black make four yellow. We didn't have that one on here. And try to find a three match or any color you can use that uh, gets you your plate to go off. So boom, boom. All right, so that fills my black and that does that. And uh, second turn, place the jug gems that increase yellow in the bottom. Increase yellow. Okay. And then hit the finisher. Then you will attack and refill all things. Okay. All right. This is Sir Zorro's build. So let's see how this goes. That makes yellow, immobiles, blam, blam. Oh, yeah. That did great. That did great. 
53 million. So that's a tricksy hobbits right there. Uh, but it definitely does work. Um, so, you know, we can't, can't say we didn't try it. That was great. Uh, so now yellow, yellow, black. Uh, there's one more move set I want to show you, which is black, black, red. And, uh, this hasn't actually taken as long as I thought it would on this video. So if you watch the runtime, you're like, that's not as long as you said. It is longer, but this isn't like a 30 minute video like I was concerned it might be, especially since we go live in uh, 37 minutes and I still need to set up Rex Regum for our fun uh, power rating of him. A little behind the scenes here. All right, so black, black, red, black, black, red. Here we go. There we go. And this one. So this is how I run him. Just if you care to know. Uh, on the bottom, color submission. Choose 10 gems to make into red submission gems. Do 20, doesn't matter, damage for three turns. And then uh, the remaining submission gems turn into power gems of strength 600k which was really spicy before six gold. And then you increase the damage by 600K. Uh, and then you've got the JBL bomb where you make black gems. We already saw that. And so you, you get the idea there. Uh, so we need to be loaded turn one. They are seven MP. So we're gonna have to do double black and uh, a Santa Hogan in order to make that work. And then we want to buff them up with um, Nikki, Nikki Hall of Fame. They actually made Nikki Hall of Fame very clutch, to be quite honest. Darn, I was hoping they were in the previous. So this could take a second here, because finding make black MP Woods always seems to confound me. Because half the time he's in the we haven't used him pile. Oops, well that was Bianca. That that was stupid. Uh, and half the time he's in the bottom. But that was Trickwoods there. See, and I also also get confused. Okay, for sake of you understand that I'm I'm not using Carmelo because you need to use Carmelo. Uh, I'm going to use him because he's right there, and that's nice. All right, now we need Black, and uh, if you have Priest, uh, Judgment Day Priest, Black moves two and increase strength by one. That is super nice. And then you are going to need Santa Hogan. I don't know why I clicked that. I've been doing this for a couple few hours now. That's why. Then go to gym modifier and find the wonderful Nikki Bella right there. Okay, so didn't take as long as I thought it might, but it did take some time. So we've got these guys here. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with the, the plate. You understand that that's not doing anything. The only other thing, okay, I just said I wasn't. I'm, since I'm going to it, I might as well put it on there. The only one that I tend to use right here would be the mini faces of Foley because it just adds some extra power gems after the fact, but they're not powerful enough in six gold anymore. That plate is kind of like the Sid's power bomb now where you're like, that used to be a great plate. What? Yeah, anyway. Ooh, shout out to Abs for Super Mafia Brothers on the bottom of the, the little screen there. Uh, that is one of our faction family. All right, so quite simple here. You want to make enough red gems to load this move. You need five of them. So you also want to clear the board as best you can and keep these around. Like that would not be a smart place. That might be. It's a little difficult because he makes a lot of them. And, you know, I might just have to risk it for the biscuit on that. Okay. So we're going to make enough red to load his finisher. Hopefully Sammy doesn't break as many of those power gems as possible. Eh, we got 246 on the board. Six of them are going to 1.2 million, which is, I hate to say it, only 6 million. Only, oh, 1.8 million still, still, still. Uh, and then you either swipe, which I'm actually going to do because uh, why not? And hit that and then you could use the move, but that was 11 million and he just ate some more of my gems. So now if I do this, I, it just clears away so I don't hit those. Bam, 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 bam. Yep, that was uh, it's not enough. So, should you take Striker Bradshaw to six-star gold? Um, conditionally, yes. I mean, his 
power gems unfortunately just don't scale quite like they do like ddp is the new king of power gems in the game i would say um, there are other ways you could run the move set i get but because it goes from sub to that uh, you are going to continually sub them down and keep hitting them but the only way to turn one win was going with either Seth freaking Rollins or Goldberg uh, to make that move set hit. And I just think that's a little rare for most people. So should you take Striker Bradshaw up? Uh, it's a big question mark for me. He's definitely going to do the job, but he's not the monster he was in the previous meta. And as I've said on some of these videos, that's that's a tough pill to swallow, but he's still going to win, and he's going to do great. It's just it, he's going to take two, three, maybe four turns, to, uh, and that's two cycles at least to get it done, um, but still good, still good. Well, let me know what you think of this uh, long and more windy video than the others have been, and big shout out to Sir Zorro for helping me out on this video. Uh, give him a like and a subscribe. I'll mention him in the comments section below when we post this, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe to Champions Chat as well, comment on the video, and then send this to your friend or faction mate who's going, hey, I'm thinking about taking up Striker Bradshaw. What do you think? Give them this video, encourage them to actually watch it, because it truly helps us out, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.